Okay, this is a step-by-step -step lesson plan for the premium ESL worksheet on collective nouns. The topic is animals. This lesson should take between 45 minutes to one hour and is aimed at intermediate students. Before you give out the worksheet to the class, begin the lesson with a warm-up activity to test the pupil's knowledge of animal vocabulary. A possible game to play is the I went to the zoo and I saw game, where each pupil takes it in turn to name an animal that they saw at the zoo, while also remembering those animals that the previous students saw. For example, student one would say, I went to the zoo and saw a lion. Student two would then say, I went to the zoo and saw a lion and some zebras. Student three would continue with, I went to the zoo and saw a lion, some zebras and an elephant. It is often a nice touch for the teacher to go last and attempt to remember all the animals that the different students saw at the zoo. Hand out a worksheet to each class member and then ask the pupils in turn to name each of the different animals pictured, correcting pronunciation where necessary. You begin task one with an introduction to collective nouns, a little bit about their history and their relative uniqueness to the English language. This information can be found on the ESL Worksheets website. The URL is given in the supplementary documents. Please emphasize the fact that often the collective noun is based on a characteristic of the animal in question. For example, a pride of lions. Male lions look very proud. A warren of rabbits, because rabbits live in a warren. A pack of wolves, because wolves hunt in packs as this will help them work out the answers in task one. You should give the class 10 to 15 minutes to complete task one. Once the class has completed this task, you should ask random pupils for the answers to each of the 10 animals, correcting them where necessary. Task two includes less obvious collective nouns, but they are written on the sheet, so this should make the task more achievable for the students. Give the class 10 minutes to complete task two before asking random pupils for their answers and correcting them where necessary. The additional task asks the students to match the four animals with the burrow in which they live. This may be introducing totally new vocabulary to the class, so you may choose to set this exercise as homeworks for the pupils to research for themselves. Allow five to ten minutes for the students to complete this task if done in class. You may decide to complete the lesson by handing out the free worksheet list of collective nouns to the pupils. Alternatively, you could laminate the list and display it in your classroom as a mini poster. Thank you for listening.